Hi there. Today we are going to study about the line sensors. Okay, uh, the infrared line sensors. Okay. Infrared line sensors are used for many purposes. Uh, infrared sensors are used for many purposes in robotics. Okay. Uh, today we are going to use this in our line follower uh, robot. Okay. So you may be wondering why this, right? I mean, this is nothing but the sensor which gives us the stimuli of whether our <coughs> ground plane is the white surface or the black surface. Okay, it, it is the electronic component which differentiates between the white surface and the black surface and gives us stimuli. Okay, so you may be wondering why infrared sensors, why not just normal light sensors, right? Uh, this is because we don't want any kind of distractions from ambient light or sunlight. That is why we are using infrared line sensors and they are uh, pretty cheap also you know so that is why <coughs> today we are gonna see an infrared line sensor okay uh, you may be you may have watched uh, our uh, video tutorial on robotics if you have you may be knowing that we will we used three line sensors in our basic robot s1 s2 and s3 so considering a single line sensor s1 have written a block diagram of uh, the single line sensor S1 and this single line sensor consists of two parts okay the first part is the transmitter this is the infrared transmitter this is nothing but an LED LED is a light emitting diode in this case it is an infrared light emitting diode okay this emits infrared light and this is a receiver RX this diode is nothing but a infrared receiver diode okay so now let's see how this circuit actually works okay let's say the sensor s1 is on a white surface on the ground okay so as you know the, uh, the property of light from the property of light uh, uh, you know whenever light falls on a white surface everything gets reflected back right so using that uh, let's say s1 the block whole block of this is on a white surface so what happens now when we give five volts of electricity to it so the infrared LED starts glow emitting in plane and what happens so light uh, infrared light rays will get reflected back and will hit the uh, receiver infrared receiver okay when this is this happens the infrared <coughs> receiver which is connected in reverse biased condition to the 5 volt as you can see this is the LED is in forward bias the uh, receiver is in reverse bias condition so whenever one uh, infrared rays hit the white surface and get reflected back and then hit the receiver part reverse breakdown of the diode occurs and we will get all the current that uh, will be flowing here will actually be shorted to the ground so if we take an output uh, in between the one mega ohm resistor and this diode uh, reverse bias diode we will get output as zero volts okay uh, and uh, now let's see if this sensor s1 is on a black surface okay now let's say this is the black surface on the ground and let's say we have given 5 volts and the LED again emits the infrared rays and now because of the property of an electromagnetic radiation like infrared ray or any other electromagnetic radiation uh, the black surface actually absorbs all the infrared light rays okay when that happens it uh, there won't be any kind of reflected rays here okay so when there won't be any kind of reflected rays here uh, reverse breakdown of this diode does not occur okay so when we take an output between the one mega ohm resistor and this diode again so all the output let's say five or some four volts of it will be seen across this diode okay so this is the basic theory on which the infrared line sensors work okay this this cannot not just applies for line sensors but also obstacle sensors etc okay yeah also I forgot to mention one point that this one kilo ohm resistor is used here just to limit the current given to the LED this one mega ohm resistor is absolutely necessary for this receiver uh, infrared LED to work and um, yeah as you saw when our sensor was on a white surface, we got an output reading of 0 volts, right? When it was on a black surface, we got an output reading of uh, 5 volts or 4 volts, okay? So, this 0 volts is nothing but logic of 0 
this 5 volt or 4 volt is nothing but logic of 1 which is a true value this is a zero value so using this concept we can actually apply it to our uh, any kind of optical robot or line follower robots okay for more information on this please go through our tu uh, video tutorial series on uh, basic line follower robot using logic gates or microcontroller series you will get to know it better <coughs> and i have a circuit to show you you know this is a uh, basic infrared uh, uh, transmitter and uh, detector circuit that I have made here. Uh, let's say uh, this is S1. S1 block consists of transmitter receiver. This is S2. Uh, it consists of transmitter receiver, transmitter receiver, transmitter receiver. So we have four here, and uh, likewise I have some here also. And uh, we have potentiometers and stuff which we, I will be explaining in the next tutorial uh, uh, on comparators. Uh, uh, no, I'll cut that. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> as you can see here, we have potentiometers and comparators. Okay. What the voltage that we get here is now uh, analog voltage of 5 or 0 volts. Now, to do any kind of processing using logic gates or microcontrollers, we will need digital logic data, right? So, we have to convert this analog voltage values to a digital values. So, to do that, I have written a post below this video on NeuroGoody site. So, please head over there and know how to integrate all this line sensor part or infrared sensor part to a comparator IC just like this one that I have done here. This is a standard LM324 comparator IC. So uh, and I have also integrated some potentiometers to give the voltage reference etc. So this is mainly used to convert the analog voltage that we get here into a digital voltage form that is a perfect 0 volts and a perfect 5 volts which represent perfect logic 0 and perfect logic 1 which will be useful for uh, to do further processing using logic gates or using microcontrollers uh, upon your wish. So please go through all the uh, uh, post and the links given below to uh, <coughs> continue with your uh, quest to robotics. So I will see you in the next uh, video tutorial series. Bye.